Hey guys, it's me, and it's Wednesday, and like I told you, I think I'm going to dedicate all Wednesday videos to us, and to health, fitness, just anything that has to do with women, and especially women, I hate to say especially women around our age, because a lot of my messages, I really hope that young girls see it. Someone said Weight Loss Wednesday, and I was thinking that really helped because it made me think I should probably give Wednesdays maybe a theme, and I want it to be something that you can look forward to. I want it to be something that when I get questions during the week, I can say I'm gonna address that on Wednesday, and it just gives me great ideas, and it lets me know exactly what I wanna talk about. I thought I would name these Wednesdays Hot at 50. And that is just kind of like a play on words because I want you guys to know you can be hot at 50. You can feel hot at 50. And <laughs> with menopause, you're going to be hot at 50. <laughs> that is what I'm going to do. Now today, I'm going to talk about something that has just been one of my biggest questions. And it has been something that has been just eating at me and something I have been wanting to talk about, but it's very, very controversial, and it's very scary for me because I take what I do here seriously, and I know that you guys, I hope that you trust me. And I am never gonna tell you anything that I know to be wrong or hurtful or dangerous or anything like that. So, many, many of you have asked me Am I on HRT, Hormone Replacement Therapy? If you notice, I've never really answered you because I certainly would never lie to you, but I was very, very hesitant to talk about it because there are risks, and it is a very, very individual thing. It's individual according to your family history. It's individual according to your health history. It's just individual as far as opinions. I mean, even when I talked about the um, vaccine, I got people sending me crazy messages about how I was gonna die and sending me all this kind of crazy stuff. So I know that people are passionate both ways and I understand that, I really do. So let's get back to the subject at hand here, hormone replacement therapy. Okay, you guys have known that I hate menopause. I have always hated the word menopause. I would never, I didn't watch hardly any, I don't think I watched any of Tammy's videos on menopause. I mean, she would talk about it all the time and I was just like, oh, I just hated it. And I guess because in my head, menopause is just so negative and it just meant I was getting old and it just meant I felt like it was going to be the end of me and who I am. And so I just dreaded it and I avoided it. So I never watched any videos or anything on hormone replacement therapy. I really knew nothing about it. You guys know I started having all of these issues. I've talked about it before in my videos, you know, and just, I mean, my balance, swelling, this, IBS, which I've always had IBS, and I've had all these issues come up and I went for years. I mean, probably 45, six, seven, eight, probably, I don't know, all those years, going from doctor to doctor. Not, I didn't really get real bad with the IBS until probably a few years ago, but right in the beginning, I just knew something was off, and I knew that my mom went through menopause early. Well. I say early, but at 45, she never had a period after 45. And to me, that seemed early, maybe it's not. I knew that that could be a possibility, but every time I would bring it up to my doctors, they would look at me, take my hormones, do blood tests, everything, and tell me that my estrogen was normal and that that wasn't it. And that would make me go even more crazy because if you're like me, I want to know the situation, and then I want to analyze it, and then I want to do everything I can to fix it. That kind of kept me from 
doing that. It kind of kept me from accepting it and learning all that I could. And it made me just feel sad. And, you know, just, I just didn't know what it was. I didn't know if it was like something else in my life that was wrong. I really want you girls that are in your 30s to pay attention because I want to keep you from those years of wondering what the heck's going on. Trust your self, trust your body, trust your instincts, and do your research because like I go to all men and they haven't been through menopause. They don't know what it's like. All they know is the black and white. They know what they've learned and they know what they've been taught. And to me, it's kind of like the whole cholesterol thing. There is just, I'm, I'm going to put a video down here below from a doctor that I really like. He is I don't mean this in a bad way, but he's not the most interesting, and he takes a long time. He's not pithy like Dr. Berg. He takes a long time explaining things, but I really connect with him, and he really helps me a lot. So he just did a video on cholesterol that I will put down below that I think you might find interesting too. Where do I begin? So I want, you know, basically I want you to think for yourself, and I want you to explore all the options, and here we go. Okay, I, I think I've gone all around, all around. Basically, I don't want you to get mad at me. I don't want you to do anything you shouldn't do. I'm just gonna tell you what I do because I am an expert on me. So, so. yes, I do take hormone replacement therapy. I did not start, and I, let me grab my phone because I took, I found the dates this morning, hold on. Here we go, Tuesday, May 26th, I weighed 152.2. We pretty much know that by now. By Friday, July 10th, I weighed 137.4. And that so that's 15 pounds I had lost by that date. And July 10th is the date that I got the hormones. I probably took them the next day or something. So I wanted to just because I know you're going to think, and I would probably think too, oh, that's the reason she feels better. Oh, that's the reason she's lost weight. I'm not saying that it couldn't be a part of it, but I don't think that's it because I don't think I would feel as good and I don't think I would have lost this much weight. And I don't know if he would have prescribed them to me, but he already knew what I had been going through. He already knew I was eating healthy and that I was trying on my own. I wasn't looking for a magic pill and I already have bone loss. So, and I do not have breast cancer in my family. He was willing and I still had just, <laughs> you guys don't even, the night sweats are just, you guys know, you know how they are. So I still had that going on. One of the biggest things I did when I even started thinking about it, I don't even know if I was really thinking about it until you guys were asking and telling me to watch. I think um, Angie Hot and Flashy had a good video with um, Menopause Barbie. And then Dominique had a video with her gynecologist, I guess. And so it probably put it in my head. My mom's never taken hormones and my mom's a real, she's very natural and she's not as daring and out. I'm more like my dad. Here we go. So I started taking them and I'll be honest with you. I don't know. It's like I've never really felt them like kick in or do anything because I was already like on that road to recovery anyway. So, but I can tell you that they do not prevent the IBS because I've been on them all along and every time I tried to eat like a slice of avocado or, you know, cabbage or any of those things that I would try to put in there, I it would definitely upset my stomach. Matter of fact, yesterday, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but you should because I'm really much, much more active on Instagram now and I'm trying to put pictures of things that I eat and just different things. Yesterday was kind of a weird day. Um, the main thing was John was gone all day, kind of a little bit out of town playing golf. So my routine was a little mixed up and 
he, I knew he wasn't going to be home last night to cook my steak, which we recorded that, and I'm going to do that video. Maybe I'll do that next week or something. We recorded what he does and how he cooks it. I knew that he wasn't going to be home, so at lunchtime, I thought, you know, I know what I'll do. I'll go to Chicken Salad Chick, and I'll get myself chicken salad, and then I'll get him a bunch of different little things that I can just put in the refrigerator, and no matter what time he gets home, he can just eat. And... It, my stomach did not like it. Now, you may say, well, what would be in there? It's just mayonnaise and chicken, and I don't even know what else was in there. Maybe it was pickles or something. I eat deviled eggs, and usually they don't bother me, but anytime you get something made at a restaurant, you never know what, you know, spices and stuff they're putting in there, and if you're like me, my stomach or my body likes the same thing. It's kind of like a cat or a dog. If I were to have eaten just a little bit, it probably wouldn't have bothered me. But eating that whole little, it was like a maybe a half a pint or something, a little container, boy, it hit me as soon as I got home and I was in pain until last night. Matter of fact, John came up here first thing this morning. Are you okay? I didn't have, I didn't want to cook a steak last night because I'm not, I'm kind of scared of the grill. And so I just fixed a, an omelet with white American cheese and my bacon. So I don't, you, I can always eat omelets. I've never had those bother me, but I wanted to eat something kind of comforting and something I knew would be okay. So I don't think that the hormone replacement therapy is gonna be a magic pill for IBS for sure. Now it is supposed to help with joint pain and it's supposed to help with heart disease and it's supposed to help with colon cancer. And the big thing for me is it's supposed to help with osteoporosis. Hey baby, hey, you wanna come up here? So, that was like a win-win for me because we've I've already had some bone density loss years ago when I did my first scan. Let's see, I've got down here, helps with hot flashes, bone density, Alzheimer's, cardiovascular, and heart disease. Reduces colon cancer and joint pain. But, the big but is if you have any form of... Like if you already have heart disease, they say it's not good to take it. If you are, if breast cancer runs in your family, or if you've ever had breast cancer or anything like that, they say estrogen, you know, feeds that. So, say, hey, hey everybody. Mm -mm. Gonna purr, no purring. She doesn't like to be picked up. I don't really, it's like I don't want to encourage you to take it because what if it's not the thing for you? What if, you know, you have some type of, you know, condition where you shouldn't take them? So I just really, really want you to do your research. I'm going to put some videos that I like down below and don't make sure when you're watching the videos, you're not just watching someone's opinion. And like, of course, there were studies done years and years ago you need to make sure you know all about that study it's kind of like the whole cholesterol thing and kind of like them telling you to eat 10 meals a day and stuff like that read some up-to-date material look at some up-to-date videos and you know just really think about it a friend of mine is just entering menopause and she has noticed basically she's eating the same way she always has but she's still gaining weight, and it's like, what the heck? Well, that's, hello, menopause, That there it is. You may be thinking about it. I would give it a good thought. I would give it some good research. I would not just do what your mom does. I would not just do what a friend does. And as far as talking to your doctor, if you're like me and you have a man doctor, you may want to just talk to him first and hopefully he is going to be like my doctor and he is going to the first time I don't know I was going to say the first time I ever mentioned it maybe I mentioned it after some blood work or maybe or something but it had been talked about before and he had done some research on it and found what he wanted to give me and you know it was like a discussion it was a couple of time discussion maybe i asked for it and he told me no and i had to come back or something i don't know that is what i have to say and i will always always be honest with you so that is it and so next 
video that I kind of do like this. I want to go over some different supplements and like probiotics and stuff that I'm taking. But that is going to have a caveat too that I have issues. Like I, that's why I don't sit here and promote carnivore diet, even though that's what I do. I promote keto diet. I promote intermittent fasting. If you do intermittent fasting and the keto diet, you are going to lower your insulin, which will help your menopause symptoms. That is something to try right off the bat, especially if you're hesitant to try the hormones. You definitely need to try keto and intermittent fasting. Going back to how I eat, the only reason I do that is because I have to. I have IBS so bad that it puts me into a tailspin for a week if I go off of it. That's kind of how it is with this. It's like I'm not going to sit here and promote things. I'm going to tell you why I do and I want you to do your research because I don't want, you know, I don't want to tell you to do something wrong, but yet I want to be honest. And that's like, it's kind of like a hard balance. There it is. Please ask me any questions that you would like below. I would love for you to give your input. Oh, and another big thing I want to tell you about, several videos and studies that I have read say that you to get the full benefits of the hormone replacement therapy, you really need to do it within 10 years after menopause. I think in that big study that they did where, you know, some things came up negative and that a lot of doctors go by, I think a lot of those women that they were studying had been over 10 years past menopause. And so that's something that they have done more studies and they have realized that you need to get on the hormone replacement therapy within 10 years of your last period, which I always think it's so funny when I look up my, I don't know why I even have this app on my phone. I'm late, 733 days. <laughs> so that's how long it's been since I had my last period. Okay, so I think that I have, I didn't want to get like real nitty gritty and like tell you a lot of things that I'm not really an expert at. Like I said, I'm an expert on what I do. And I do think that there are a lot of benefits as far as hair, skin, nails, and all that kind of stuff. Of course, you know, estrogen is a big thing to women and I'm on estrogen and progesterone. I'm not going to tell you what brand or the milligrams because I really think that's very, very specific to each person. But I really think the intermittent fasting and lowering your insulin is just like a big, big, big key to things. I think if you do healthy keto, healthy ketosis, and intermittent fasting, it will help you just so, so much. So, okay, I'll be right back with my outfit of the day. Okay, so these are the pants that I showed you a few weeks ago from H&M. And like I told you, they're very see-through, but most pants are, so you can see I've got the little, the skims on, which are the absolute best to be undetected because see how they're not even like cutting into me, but they are so hard to get. They're always out of stock. And then this is the Dylan Lex tank. It's a medium. I would say that they run small. And yesterday I wore the black one, but with some lower rise pants and you could see like my stomach through it. So today I just wanted to wear this one to show you if you wear higher rise pants, you don't have to worry about that. And I just think that shape is so cool. So, and then I'll give you a spin so you can see. And then the shoes I have on are just some nude heels that I got from the Nordstrom sale. Let's see, I mean, there's all, you could wear any shoes. You could wear red shoes if you want to. But I wanted to wear these. I just wanted something kind of nude and comfortable. Today I am wearing the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. And what else did I want to tell you about? I just wanted you to see it again up close. I do think that like my Estee Lauder or something, you know, probably looks better on camera, but I just wanted to show you, I think it's so pretty. And is there anything else? Oh, accessories. I have on just my little Lilu studs there. I have on the Lone Wolf ring from Aaron Fader, a Jenny Bird bracelet. I'm just all over the place. And then I will do a video Maybe I'll incorporate that in Friday's video or something on my watch. And you know about my nails. I think that's it. I hope that I've at least given you some hope. 
I hope that I've given you some encouragement, some inspiration, and a jumping off point for you. And I will put the videos that I like and that I think are really educational and motivating. I will put those down below and I will see you on Friday. Bye-bye.